Uh, the Spanish-American War gets a certain amount of attention because there's a heroism of Theodore Roosevelt and the Rough Riders and all of that. And, uh, and I remember learning about that in, in school, but they never said anything about the war in the Philippines. There was something about how, yeah, as a result of the Spanish-American War, we took over the Philippines. Uh, but I never knew the details on that. But when you look into it, the Spanish-American War lasted three months. The Philippine War lasted for years and years. And it was a brutal, bloody suppression of the Filipino movement for independence, a war that in many ways was a precursor of the Vietnam War and the atrocities committed by the American army in the Philippine Islands. Now that's a story, that story of the war in the Philippines that has never been told. It would not accrue to military heroism to, or to the glory of the United States to tell that story. There were black American soldiers in the Philippines who soon began to identify more with the Filipinos than with their fellow white Americans. And who were very conscious of the fact that while they were fighting uh, to suppress the Filipinos, these black soldiers were hearing from back home that lynchings and ma race, race riots were taking place back home in their hometowns, and black people were being killed in large numbers. And here they were fighting against colored people, against non-white people uh, for the United States uh, government. And a number of black soldiers moved over and deserted and went over to fight with the Filipinos. And there was one uh, incident uh, at, towards the, when the Philippine War was supposed to be over, but really the American army was still suppressing pockets of rebellion here and there. And in 1906, six, seven years after uh, the army has moved into the Philippines, in 1906, there is a massacre. That's the only way to describe it. Uh, of the Moros, the uh, uh, the Muslim inhabitants of a southern island in the Philippines, uh, a village of 600 men, women, and children who have no arms. And the American army swoops down on them and annihilates every last one of them. Mark Twain uh, wrote angrily about this, wrote angrily especially about the fact that uh, the President Theodore Roosevelt sent a letter of congratulations to the military commander who did this, saying this was a great military victory.